All right, guys, next we're gonna turn on the dishwasher and test the chlorine level. This is required by law to make sure that we're hitting the correct chlorine count to make sure we're actually sanitizing our products, okay? So the first thing we do is we go over to our temperature book. We have a temperature book over uh, in the bar area and the temperature book has chlorine test strips inside of them. I ripped off a simple little piece and uh, that's the first part. So we open it up, we turn on the water and then from there, we fill it up and we just hit this fill button and we turn that up until we're, we're full. I already pre-filled it so we don't have to worry about that. And then from there, we close it, okay? And then we hit run. When we hit run, okay, uh, it's gonna run a detergent cycle first and then after that, it will run a chlorine cycle. When it's running the chlorine cycle, we take this little piece of paper, okay? And we actually stick it in the back kind of corner of the dishwasher. Your hand will get a little wet, but you'll be able to test the chlorine on it. Another methodology that people do is they set it actually uh, in a glass or on top of a glass. That's another option, and uh, you can do that as well if that works for you. So we're gonna, we're gonna actually run it now, and we're gonna kinda test and see how it works. So we'll do it. Okay, so with the tester, what we can see here, guys, um, is you can see your parts per million of chlorine. It has to be at least a 50 parts per million, so a nice light purple or darker to be hitting legal requirements for sanitization, okay? So we are looking for the 50 parts per million of sanitizer.